okay this is the second video now one of the things you are able to do even from this table is to instantly enable the links the urls in each of the for each of the website um, records for instance let's say i wanted to be able to click on johnchow.com to go there i just simply select that cell and click enable okay straight away it becomes click enabled and then i just click on it i'm not connected to the internet now so as you can see uh, it won't go but once i do connect to the internet then that happens i don't want to spend time doing that now right just to let you know that that's possible the other thing you can do is being a john chow let's assume you think oh well this alexa rack is wrong and you want to correct it all you need to do is just while on selected while you're still on the row for john chow just click view alexa rank and what it does is straight away tries to launch the alexa.com page to generate the um site rank on the website so it just takes you to the page just as if you would have done it in the um in a browser url entry bar so the idea of this is if you have to use this application and that's what i want to do you will be able to quickly get access to the web pages you want while you're online and get data you need to punch in in here uh you just come here and just type in the whatever the correct value is and that will be it okay the other thing is you can also because you, the list gets very long let's assume you have up to right now we have about 13 records and you're right at the top and you need to find one of the records that's on it so all you do is um oh sorry you, what i mean is if you want to sell uh, edit any the record just click on edit and it highlights the record and then you can make whatever changes you want to make and when you're done editing you know it returns it all to the same format okay right so um that's how this works now this table feeds another table which is this now i got this idea from looking at a uh, anil's web website on which he had his list of 100 plus blogs and i felt look it's looking what he, uh, what he had done it was very manual so i felt one should be able to generate that page without having to actually type it all up or maybe type it all up in any other form so with what we have here what this uh, application does is allows you to come to this page and simply click update the table with data urls you see update completed what it's done is it's taken all the new records i've put and that you've added and it's brought them onto this page now let's do an experiment let me just make a change to let's say this guy here john child let me just say it's ten thousand okay okay just for demonstration so when you come here at the moment you can say, oh well now that's easier that's <laughs> that's very easy so uh, let's go it's already taking it because it's it's linked but well, let me do something else that might not be contact contact us i think that's also going to also automatically happen anyway you get the message that's the idea but the the thing is if you point to this for contact us you can see the link is still johnchild.com slash contact not contact us which means if the url is the actual url is this one but what you have on the link is wrong then that means you won't be able to go to the uh, correct page on the website so if you to get this thing this link to show the correct url to all to link to the correct where, where url simply click on the update table with data and urls button and as you just done that when you point to it again straight away you can see the link has been updated and that's the importance of this now let's assume you wanted to um well in the next video i think i'll do that um you will be clicking on this button and using it to export the entire content you simply do this and you will be able to go right into uh, an application like wordpress okay if i show you an example this is um, a screenshot of my wordpress website um that's my blog and you can see i just what i just did was a copy as i just did now okay and i came into my wordpress page opened a blank post page and i pasted it in and then you see in the next screenshot i was able to preview and this is what anil has on his website but the point i'm making is on this actual um page you, you, you in this using this application you'd actually be able to generate a page like this with all the links enabled all the rankings and all of that but you wouldn't actually have to type it you would have done it by simply maintaining a linear table of records and then using this button here to generate an update in the format you want it to appear on a web page and simply clicking the copy table for pasting into web page button and going right into the the 
your your content management system wordpress joomla or whatever and pasting it and then clicking your save button now that takes the work out of um publishing a, your list of uh, websites with all their performance data doesn't it uh, in the next video i'll show you some more including um, how you get to use this query interface and how you use the guest post uh monitor the performance monitor for guest post and also how you query that um guest guest post record